All right, this activity is called the aluminum foil boat. And what I want to do is I want to give you a brief summary of what we have happening here. I want to talk about the materials you'll need. I want to show you a couple of pictures of this activity in action uh, and talk about it as, as, uh, as students are, are loading up their boats with pennies. And then also I want to talk about the science behind this. First off, uh, what we have is we're going to have a fish tank. And uh, the students are going to be taking some aluminum foil, working in groups, and making little boats. Something I like to do at the very beginning is I like to take aluminum foil and what I've done is I've uh, folded it over several times on itself and I show the students, okay, this aluminum foil, if I were to put this in water, it sinks. And if I were to take a penny right here, it sinks. And what you're going to do today is you're going to create a boat from aluminum foil that will float. And not only that, but it's going to carry some pennies. So the students are going to construct this. They're going to put it into the fish tank along with other groups. They're going to start loading pennies in and counting as they go. And they're going to see how many pennies their boat can hold. So the materials you need. <coughs> Obviously, you will need some aluminum foil. And in the instructions, and you also see it up on the board behind me, is I go with 15-centimeter uh, by 15-centimeter sheets. The reason that I go with this size is because uh, most aluminum foil that you have, you can break it into four nice easy uh, squares by going 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. It just it works out great. Plus students, they may mess up and they'll, they might need another square, so it, it works nice for that. Uh, you're going to need some pennies. I like to put these in cups. Each cup that has some pennies in it, I usually put somewhere around 50 pennies. Uh, usually your groups won't get uh, to holding more than 50 pennies. Some will be, uh, you know, seven, eight pennies. Some groups might get up into the 30s or even 40s, I've seen. So we're, we've got that. The fish tank I've already talked about. This would need to be filled with water. As mentioned earlier, you're going to need 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter aluminum foil. You can cut that out yourself as a teacher, or if you trust your students, you can have them do this. This is what it looks like when the students are competing. Their aluminum foil boats will be in different areas around this fish tank and they will be placing the pennies in. Notice how one has already uh, sunk and so that group would step back for a while. And this right here I talk about in the next video where we have a discussion on the different uh, pros and cons of the different designs that we see. Now for the science behind this. If you have really young students, you're probably just working on the, the teamwork aspect of it, looking to see if the, the kids can problem solve. Can they figure out how to make a boat that floats? Can they then figure out how to get some pennies on there? Okay, and just that might be enough there. If you want, or if your students are more advanced, you can really start to get into uh, the density, the concept of density and trying to make this boat as a uh, is as less dense as possible. We've got the water and the boat needs to be less dense. Well, the mass, we are continuing to put pennies in here. So really all we've got to work with is this volume component down here. We're trying to make the boat push out as much water as possible. So displace as much volume as possible to make our uh, boat uh, as least dense as possible. So you can talk about density there. Another thing that I like to do is at the very end, I have a sheet that I lay on the, the table and the groups, they put their names next to it and they put the number of pennies that it was able to hold and then they put their boat. Now, usually the boat's wet, so I, I have them set it right off to the side of the sheet of paper and we look at them as a, as a class. We start to look and say, okay, what were the pros and cons of some of these different boats? And um, talk about the group that won. Why did they win? What was so special about what they built? What was so special about the way that they worked as a team putting the pennies in there? And there's, there's a lot to be gained there. Even groups that don't do that well, we can always find good things about them. For example, the team that did the worst in this last round here, they built a canoe. Okay, and the shape for the canoe, uh, it didn't work too well in terms of holding pennies. We could talk about, you know, if, if this if this boat needed to go somewhere, the canoe would have been the best one in terms of cutting through the water. So we like to look at the different designs and, and talk about it at the end.